Anthony Struess, a registered yoga teacher in Salt Lake City, Utah. Let's talk about some basic yoga terms and poses. So to start out, I'm sitting in a pose called Sukhasana, which means easy seat. And it's a simple cross-legged yoga pose. So when you hear the term asana, that means yoga pose. So we'll start in this first asana and we'll start to take some deep breaths through our nose. The act of breathing and the focus on breath in yoga is called pranayama, which is another basic yoga term that you'll hear a lot. So as you sit here and take some deep breaths, maybe you'll take your arms up overhead and bring your hands back to your heart. Simple pranayama with asana. Another common yoga term is hatha yoga, H-A-T-H-A, -H -A, which means the sun and the moon. It means joining. So joining the mind and the body, the body and the breath. And typically, yoga poses the practice of physical yoga is hatha yoga. So another common yoga pose is butterfly with the soles of the feet together. You can just gently put your weight on your legs and that's a great way to stretch your hips. And as you continue your pranayama in this asana, see if you feel your muscles relaxing and stretching more. And one more common yoga pose is called staff pose. So clearing the flesh from underneath you and taking your legs straight out. Bring your hands to your sides and just sit as tall as you can. So this is a great way to begin working flexibility in the back of your legs, lengthening your spine, and then continue working that pranayama or that breath. Probably the most common yoga term that you'll hear is the word that we use at the end of every yoga class, namaste. And that's a greeting. We usually bring our hands to heart center. And when we say namaste, we're greeting the light or the greatness in one another. So namaste. I'm Denise Drews. For more yoga tips, please visit my website.